Hello and welcome to Storytime. I am your Storytime reader, Miss Nikki. What animal would you be if a few of your teeth grew so long that they stuck out of your mouth even when it was closed? Great answers! Maybe today's read aloud titled Tooth by Tooth, comparing fangs tusks and chompers will give us more answers. Let's read and learn more together. Tooth by Tooth, Comparing Fangs, Tusks and Chompers, written by Sarah Levine and illustrated by T.S. Spooky Tooth. Open wide! Look at all those chompers in there! Did you know your teeth are unusual? It's true, that's because you're a mammal. Lots of animals have teeth, but mammal teeth come in different shapes and sizes. Mammals have three kinds of teeth. Take a look in a mirror and see if you can find them in your own mouth. Do you see the flat teeth in front? Those are your incisors. If you haven't lost any recently, you should have four on top and four on the bottom. How many do you have? Next to your incisors are sharp pointy teeth. They're called canine teeth and you have four of them in there unless the tooth fairy visited not too long ago. Now open up really, really wide. Way in back are your molars. You may have a lot to count in there. Depending on their age, people have anywhere from 0 to 20 molars. If you are over 3 years old, you probably have at least 8. Other mammals also have incisors, canines and molars. You can tell a lot about what an animal eats if you look at which type of teeth are the largest in its mouth. Imagine that your incisors were longer than your other teeth. What kind of animal would you be if they were long enough to stick out of your mouth even when it was closed? A beaver or a squirrel or a rabbit. Mammals with really long incisors are herbivores, animals that eat only plants. These teeth are great for, say, biting into hard nuts and scraping bark from a tree. Some other correct answers to this question are mice, gerbils, hamsters, muskrats, woodchucks and hares. What kind of mammal would you be if you had really long canines? A seal or a cat or a dog or a bear. Animals with big canine teeth have meat in their diet. Canine teeth are tools for killing and eating other animals. These sharp, blade-like teeth stab and tear. Many animals with large canine teeth eat only meat and they are called carnivores. But some of them eat plants too. Animals that eat both plants and meat are omnivores. Some other correct answers to this question are ferrets, raccoons, wolves, foxes, lions and tigers. What kind of mammal would you be if you had really tall molars? A horse or a cow or a giraffe. Really tall molars are good for grinding up grass and other leafy plants. These mammals are herbivores just like the mammals with large incisors. If a mammal eats mostly plants, chances are it will have either large incisors or large molars. Since not all herbivores eat the same meals, their teeth don't all look the same. Some other correct answers to this question are sheep, goats, llamas, antelopes, deer and zebras. What kind of mammal would you be if all of your teeth, incisors, canines and molars were all around the same height? You'd be you, a human. 
Since we eat plants and meat for food, we need teeth that can do many different jobs. We need them because we're omnivores. This isn't the end of the story though. Some mammals have teeth so wacky that they aren't even used for chewing food. What kind of mammal would you be if two of your top incisors were so long that they grew out of your mouth and pointed to the sky? What if they were so long you could use them to carry your school bag? An elephant! These enormous incisors have their own special name, tusks. Since elephants have big incisors, you can guess they probably eat plants. And you'd be right. While tusks aren't good for eating with, elephants can use them to tear bark from a tree or to dig up roots for a meal. What kind of mammal would you be if your top canine teeth grew almost all the way down to your feet? A walrus. Walruses, like other mammals with big canines, eat meat. While they can't use these massive teeth to chew, they do use them to poke holes in the ice to find their favorite foods, oysters and clams. After diving down for a meal, walruses can use their tusks to pull themselves back up onto the ice for a nap. What kind of mammal would you be if your top and bottom canine teeth curled up out of your mouth so you had two pairs of tusks. A warthog. A warthog's lower tusks become razor sharp from rubbing against the upper ones each time the warthog opens and closes its mouth. It's like they have a knife sharpener in their mouths. They use these fancy teeth for digging, fighting, and defending themselves against predators such as lions and leopards. What kind of mammal would you be if you had one upper canine teeth so long that it grew through your upper lip and kept growing until it was longer than your entire body? A male narwhal. The purpose of this task is a mystery scientists are trying to solve. Here's one thing they do know. The outside of the task is very sensitive and narwhals may use it to get information about the world in much the same way that you use your eyes and your ears and your nose. Some female narwhals also have tusks, but theirs are smaller. What kind of mammal would you be if you never grew any teeth at all? An anteater or a pangolin. These animals eat bugs, mostly ants and termites, they don't need teeth because they can slurp up their prey with their sticky tongues and swallow them whole. Some pebbles and sand in their stomachs help grind up their food. How do the pebbles and sand get in there? They slurp them up too. What about animals that aren't mammals? What about their teeth? Some fish, amphibians and reptiles have teeth but their teeth aren't nearly as varied. They are all around the same shape and they are all around the same height. In fact, since these teeth are so similar, they don't even have special names. No incisors, no canine teeth, no molars, certainly no tusks. Venomous snakes are an exception. They have fangs, Long pointy teeth used for paralyzing prey. What do you think you would look like if you had teeth like a reptile or a fish or an amphibian? Yikes! It wouldn't be very pretty and your lunch options would likely be very, very different. But don't worry, that's not going to happen. Relax and enjoy your sandwich. You have mammal teeth so you can crunch on your carrots and celery sticks too. Done with your lunch? Good! Smile! Then, so we can take one last look at your fancy chompers.
The end. I learned a lot about the teeth of omnivores, carnivores and herbivores. How about you? Please join me soon for another read aloud. Until then, take care of yourself and each other and stay curious.